Every last drop rating, plus 5 plus X pitter patter it felt like it had been raining for ages. The beginning of my summer had practically been completely ruined because of the constant pitter patter on the window panes. I will say that it has indeed helped me sleep when the time came, but I never slept for an entire day. And so, for the entirety of when I was awake, the rain only annoyed me. I made plans to hang with Jake not too long ago. You know, just regular things, bike rides, going to the movies, check in out chicks, that kind of thing. But, then again, it wasn't pouring not too long ago. Instead, all we've been able to do is sit inside and play Xbox Live and talk to one another with our garbage deer headsets. I never liked the rain. It rained when my mom and dad fought. It rained on my father's funeral as if it was straight out of a movie where the ceremony of death is super cliche. It rained on me when the girl of my dreams broke my heart. It almost seems like the rain only exists to ruin my definition of a good time. I'd say all of that is a valid reason to despise when God cries. Plus, on top of that, all of our shit gets wet. Yeah, some people like the rain because it's coming, but all it does is make you cold and sick. We pulled a few all-nighters playing games we've never even heard before. Neither I nor Jake was a fan of video games, but it's all we could do if we couldn't go bike riding and fuck in with annoying neighbors. When I got off of Xbox, I said out loud that I wish I could just go outside without having to worry about the rain. I learned the hard way that the phrase be careful what you wish for applies to everyone. The pitter patter on the window very slowly decreased in intensity until it stopped completely. The fact that the sound I had been hearing for the past week had suddenly stopped woke me up almost immediately. I ran to the window and there were still raindrops sliding down the smooth, fogged glass. My first instinct was to call Jake, hoping that he was awake. I dialed in his number and held the output end up to my ear. That calming ring soothed my ear as compared to the rain slamming down on my roof and slowly put a smile on my face. After a click signifying that he had picked up, I shouted excitedly. Dude, it stopped training. I said. I know. Thank God, right? He responded. For real. Do you want to go talk to your mom to make sure we can still go on a bike ride, or? Yeah, I'll go do that. Yeah, same he. I stopped as I realized that every single person of the neighborhood was stepping outside while looking up and recording something clearly abnormal in the sky. I'll be right back. All right. I put the phone down and rushed downstairs, almost busting my ass because I missed a step. The kitchen was right at the bottom of the stairs, and that's where mom spent most of her time. She loved to cook. I ran into the kitchen, but my mom wasn't there. I decided I'd go check the living room, no one there, either. And that's when I noticed that my door was open and mom was standing on the porch looking up, just like everyone else. I slowly walked over to her. Mom, what's going on? She looked at me with an indescribable fear in her eyes, motioning me to step outside with her. And so I did. There was this giant layer of rain floating gracefully above us. I could see more rain land on top of that layer, forming more and more. It started to get really cold because the sun couldn't reach us, and so the majority of people in the neighborhood went back inside to get a blanket. I suppose it all started with one drop, just stopping, 50 meters from where it was about to crash. And, one after another, other droplets followed, halting suddenly in midair. My immediate reaction was that of glee due to the fact that it had started raining, followed by a sense of dread as towards what might happen next. The rain has to go somewhere, right? And that's when it hit me. As the layers of water piled atop one another, I realized that the rain itself wasn't going to stop anytime soon. And for as long as that body of water kept getting bigger, and bigger, one question remained. What happens when this ocean above us begins to obey the laws of gravity again? Written by, Dr. Carroll, every last...